is we're going to go to Christian Kirk, who is up 3.1 spots right now with an ATP of 54.9. Brian Thomas is down 6.4, drafted 109 right now. So you're getting a good price on Thomas. I will just say before I kick it to you, Pete, and then Pete, you can kick it to Steve. You know, there is 22% of the target share from last season that is now gone from Mr. Calvin Ridley. Um, I'll go to you here, Pete. What says you on these two players? They're rising and one's rising, one's falling. What says you? Uh, I like I like Christian Kirk, depending on the t- uh, on my build. I'm probably I, I'll say I probably am not drafting him very much. Um, as for Brian Thomas, I'm probably not high on either of these guys, uh, to be fair. Uh, Evan Ingram is showed what he can do last year. He was probably the, the most dependable receiving option on the team. Uh, I also think Travis Etienne has also shown that he can be a weapon in the past game. So, you know, you have those two to factor in and then Gabe Davis, who, you know, for, for what it's worth, I'm not high on him, but he's going to be a thorn in the side of Brian Thomas, at least. Um, Brian Thomas outside of the top 100, I don't mind taking a chance on him, um, but it, I have to have a team that um, I'm not, he, he's got to be like my fifth wide receiver at best um, if I'm drafting him because he's a guy that may not get going until middle of the season. Um, I, 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 I'm not going to provide some, you know, h- high analysis here, but I do think, you know, rookies tend to start slower. This is an offense that was pretty lethargic last year and they may start slow too, because they're trying to work some of the kinks out from last year. Um, so yeah, I mean, Brian Thomas, the, the problem with taking a guy like him is he, you, you may get frustrated and then end up dropping him because he mm. is a rookie and he might not be getting the starter reps right away with Gabe Davis blocking him. Um, so you have to be content and play in a league that has a good amount of bench spots, or he's got to be your wide receiver five who you're comfortable sitting on your bench because you're not expecting anything from him for the first few weeks. And you're comfortable not dropping him. Um, if you have him uh, on your squad. Yeah. Christian Kirk, I haven't been drafting him. Um, you know, he was solid two years ago, a thousand yards, 1100 yards, eight touchdowns last year. He was banged up, just played 12 games. Uh, like Pete mentioned, their offense was a mess last year. Lawrence was under pressure more. He kind of took a step back. So uh, <laughs> they they need to bounce back this season. They bring in Gabe Davis, who, you know, I'm off the Gabe Davis train. I think everybody should be off the Gabe Davis train. Uh, he was a fucking shit show uh, for, for my fantasy teams. And I, and I was in on him. You know, I, I thought Gabe Davis was better than he was, but, you know, he's bunches. He, he, you know, he's kind of slow. He doesn't separate. He makes big drops and big spots. So I think Brian Thomas, I mean, this guy's a first round pick. Uh, he's the only first round pick amongst this receiver group. Um, and, you know, you get him in the 10th round. Yeah, I, I can understand maybe even having a slow start. The camp reports haven't been good so far. Um, but I think he could emerge as the number one guy in this offense and uh, be the best receiver on this team. So, I mean, Brian Thomas led college football in touchdowns last year, uh, with 17 or 18 touchdowns, I think it was. Uh, I think he was also clocked as, like, one of the fastest receivers um, next-gen stats. So, yeah, I love Brian Definitely. Thomas fucking a lot. I've been, I've been targeting him a lot. I agree with Pete, though. It could take a little bit of a while to get, you know, into a rhythm in the NFL – uh, but if somebody does drop him week two, week three, because of impatience, I would definitely go scoop his ass up. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. No, it was one of the rare times that Pete and I agree on a show. <laughs> um, Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk, two years ago, healthy 17 games, first year with the Jaguars, wide receiver 18 in points per game in PPR leagues. That's about the – I don't see much ceiling with Christian Kirk. And, you know, Pete brings up the build – he is extremely build dependent to where if you need a high floor receiver, yeah. a stability block receiver, because you took some chances early, Christian Kirk's your guy. Um, you know, Evan Ingram balled out at the expense of Christian Kirk target wise last year. Kirk, he saw 133 targets. He is the possession receiver and the chain mover on this offense. I don't mind Christian Kirk at cost. I, I like everything you said about Brian Thomas, how he could be frustrating. And what could like in two wide receiver sets,